Hi, I hope you're able to see me. Basically, what we're going to be talking about is how do you reach stage clear? People, I think, behind the scenes want to reach the highest stage as possible in existence. So how do you do it? So the way to get into tier two or turquoise is a little higher than tier two, but the way to do it is to develop the global mind, obviously. But more than that is you want to have a mystical experience. So the best way to do that is to try is to start microdosing psychedelics. So you have a picture of what you're aiming for. And then once you do that, you'll have an easier time of having epiphany. So I don't think you should take psychedelics to get into turquoise, but just to give you like a compass of like what you might be aiming for. And then you don't have to have any mystical experiences ever again. It's just a matter of pointing to in the right direction. But once you do that, you'll you'll quickly be moving through other stages and you'll be hitting turquoise faster than you think. Um, right. So those who have taken psychedelics and they still haven't been pointing in the right direction, it's because they're not looking at things correctly. But let's get back on track. You're going to be growing exponentially fast if you had a mystical, ex a mystical experience or mystical state. Now, I don't think you should take it after that. But once you're in turquoise, then what you're aiming for is you're aiming for patterns. So uh, follow my model to go through the patterns. So the once you're in turquoise, you're going to be into meditation. You're going to be into like all these types of non-cults, right? Because they're not cults because we're holistic. Uh, so you're going to be going to different forums and spiritual communities. And you're going to try to figure out the truth for yourself. Um, and then you're going to come up with your own ideas about the Pleiadians or about our history on Earth and let yourselves fantasize. Let yourself um, suggest all types of extraterrestrial societies that may have been here or influenced us because that's part of stage coral. And then after you come up with your own theories, uh, that is part of the stage coral myth mythological thinking, which is not myths, It's you know, because mythologies are actually... A fantasy. Uh, mythologies are is actually a misnomer. They're not myths unless they don't substantiate themselves in the world. And because reality is both subjective and objective, it's not myth is the wrong word. But uh, you're going to be seeing a, a larger truth about our history, about what we are, about how we got here, and and even what the globe is all about. Like what's going on, why we're doing what we're doing. So after you get into Sage Coral, then you're going to calm down. Okay, so then you have to... Okay, so Sage Coral is the hardest stage to exit because you're going to want the same things you wanted in Stage Orange. Success, money, um, acceptance, uh, respect, um, to be in charge of people, to be the king, to be the, the alpha. So that's going to manifest differently for, for different people. But in the alpha stage of Coral you're going to have to humble yourself if you want to get into the next stage. And this is the hardest thing. The same way it was hard for Orange to get into Green. Um, uh, for many reasons, but this is important. You have to tell yourself, I like being the Alpha, but I have to become... I have to become softer. And you have to, like, write in your journal all the things you don't like about yourself. You have to be humble. Uh, all things that you could work on. So this is for people only who can't exit out of coral, right? And some people have the, uh, a different experience in coral. They have manic depression. So for those people, um, the reason why they have manic depression is because they believe they're supposed to be non-dual and they're not allowing the mythologies to exist. That's one of the main reasons. Uh, there may be other reasons, of course. Uh, and there's also like things that have to do with the brain wires themselves that may go into deeper stuff. But in general, I believe a lot of the brain wire stuff could be avoided if you understood what's going on holistically. But once you get into that humble framework, you're entering into stage teal. So you get into holism again, you get into non-duality again, but you will probably also start to see synchronicities times two, times ten. Uh, you'll realize that maybe God does exist, right? Maybe there is some interconnection between you and the universe that's a relationship. Uh, allow that to happen, and it's going to be unique for everyone. Uh, it's not going to be organized. Just allow it to happen. It may, you may start being confused and looking up tarot readings to figure out your life. Whatever you do, you're going to be looking for signs from some kind of guide. 
that you don't put a name for, or maybe you do. Uh, but eventually, you're going to get scientific and say to yourselves, okay, there must be a reason why I'm talking to God. And then you get materialistic again, um, but not in a materialistic way. You just want to understand what's, what's the reason for things. Then halfway through Auburn, okay, so that's a period. It may take a month. It may take five months. I don't really know. But if you're following along with this, uh, with this chart, with this pattern, it'll probably go fairly quickly. Uh, and then you get into halfway through Aubergine. This is the start of stage clear. So this is enlightenment. So you, you're probably, go, uh, stuff from the collective unconscious is going to come up. You may have annoying dreams. You may have paranoid, tar paranoia again, like you did in, in the end of stage yellow. Uh, and it, you may feel off. You may have situations in your life that you don't appreciate. Um, people, you might be insulted by what people are saying. You may be paranoid, and you may not have a reason to be paranoid, but you don't realize that. Because uh, this is a transitionary period into the transcendent stage. So, of course, it's not going to be simple. And it's the latter half of Aubergine. So the first half is you're going to have a, a month, maybe eight months, maybe five months of really good stuff. If you're not aware of these stages, these stages can last for years. Because you're just trying to sustain whatever stage you're in. That's part of the ego frameworks. Uh, but once you have my chart, you'll be able to zoom through uh, fairly quickly. So once you're in stage clear, you're going to adjust. You're probably going to be a lot calmer. And you're, I personally experience some kind of disassociation. Some may say it's a disorder. I don't think so. I think I don't get sad anymore. Um, and my sadness is kind of like, it's so small that I, when I, when I write in my journal sad stuff, I don't actually feel sad. Uh, it's like I can't be sad even if I tried. It's like I'm on some kind of antidepressants, but I'm not. It's a natural state of stage clear. Um, uh, and then in, um, oh, but there's also, when you feel happiness, you feel double happy. Okay, so this is my current stage. I don't know how to get into Topaz because I right now I want to fill out orange because I haven't gone through orange really. Um, uh, you know, I want to fill out maybe a little bit more green, but not really because I'm learning about green. I want to fill out yellow. That's why I've been making charts and models and maybe some turquoise. So maybe I should get involved in more communities because I didn't do that enough in stage turquoise. Uh, maybe I also want to... Um, be more creative in, in fiction writing. Maybe I'll go back into coral for that. So there, there are definitely things that I can fill out before I start focusing on t uh, moving into topaz. That's how I'm, I'm looking at things. Uh, you will be moving along nonetheless, but at the same time, if you're focused on moving backwards, uh, then you won't move forwards because your mind has, plays a big part in its own evolution. So that's the secret on how to be enlightened, how to, how to, how to develop. Now, is this the highest point of enlightenment? No. You know, there's always higher. I still have an ego. I just can't feel it anymore. Um, there's still sexual desire. Uh, and, that you know, the sexual desire is pretty much how I know I have an ego still. But it's, you're, you'll, you'll embody truth. You'll embody archetype. You'll, uh, you'll be pure in whatever you do. Whatever you are, you'll be. Whatever you say is true. And it's, it's what, the prophets were talking about, and it's what everyone was talking about when they referred to God. Uh, you know, a person, a prophet, like what are, what are they? They're, they're embodying truth, they're embodying God, and so on. So that's how you reach it. Um, so did I reach that point? I don't consider myself have reaching that point unless I go back, make money, and fill out the various stages I told you. Until then, I'm not going to consider myself enlightened. Um, but technically speaking, those who reach here to my stage and they filled out the lower needs, they're, they're enlightened. Yes, good job. You got lucky enough and you reached the stage. Good for you. Uh, now keep going. But, um, but that's it. That's how you become enlightened. That's how you reach stage clear.